Okay. Hello guys, welcome back. Here is your tech informant with another video that is totally different from what you watch on this channel. So this video is a reaction video to a particular comment that was dropped in the last video I shared yesterday. So in case you missed the video, I talked about how you can get 1000 subscribers in a day through with a tool that is in your YouTube studio. So this faceless comment reads that views and subscribers count through YouTube promotions will not be counted for YouTube monetization according to YouTube. And the replies on this video also agreed to what the commenter said. And the last reply on this comment reads, yes, it is true. The subscribers, views and watch hours will not count for YouTube monetization. So when using YouTube promotion to grow your channel for monetization, it is better to prove it if it will count so you don't put your subscribers in what does not work. So thank you for the comments and also the replies. So one thing you need to understand is that on this channel, before I upload any video, I always do my due diligence. So from my experience on this channel and other people, other content creators have worked with and also the research I do because I believe in researching because information do change every day. What you knew that was correct yesterday might be obsolete, might not be correct today. So that is the need for researching. And also, I also listen to other thought leaders in, in this niche and also on YouTube in general. So that is the reason why I don't upload I mean, on a daily basis because I always take time to do my, you know, do my research, do my due diligence before sharing videos on this channel because I know I have over 20,000 subscribers, people that are subscribed to this channel and I wouldn't like to mislead because maybe because I want to get views or get whatever on, on this channel. So I always make sure that I do my due diligence. So I shared that, I shared that video yesterday, but I believe that this comment, I guess it watched the first two, three minutes and then dropped an uninformed comment on that video. So one thing you need to understand is that any subscriber count you get by promoting your channel is being counted towards monetization. So to put this further, there's other things I would like to enlighten you, especially if you are new on YouTube and you want to know how the YouTube monetization I mean eligibility works. So here on this screen, this is on the YouTube page, the help page. It shares how the YouTube Partner Program eligi eligibility works or the criteria for the YouTube Partner Program. So here you can see that we have, you need to get 1000 subscribers. I'm talking about the, I mean the higher monetization threshold. You need to get 1000 subscribers. So this 1000 subscribers, it doesn't matter how you, I mean, where you get it. I mean, in a legit way, whether organically or through paid promotion, any, anyhow you get it, either organic or paid promotion, is it is counted, they are counted towards monetization. So only where you might have issue is maybe if you involve third parties that normally use bots, but anything within the YouTube or Google ecosystem is, is being counted. That, so if you have the subscribers from organic, I mean, through organic means or paid promotions, it will count towards monetization. Then coming to the second side, that is the 4,000 watch time hours. You need to understand that when you, when you promote your channel, any watch hour you get on the views from paid promotions is not counted towards monetization. And if you come here, you see that YouTube made emphasis that valid public watch hours. You need to get 4,000 valid public watch hours. So there's a dif there's difference between public watch hours and ordinary watch hours. So when you go down this page, you will see here where YouTube explains where what it means by valid public watch hours. So here, what counts as valid public watch hour is watch hours gained from long form videos you have set public. So any video that you set public and also live stream that you set public, any watch hour you get from those videos and live stream 
accounted towards monetization. But any video that you private, any video that you unlist, any video that you delete, and even the views you get from ad campaigns and YouTube shorts, and also live streams that are unlisted, deleted, or not converted to video on demand, this set of videos, any watch hour you get from any set of these videos, are not counted towards monetization. So for you to for your for your watch hour to count, the views must come from videos that are made public and live stream that are made public. Finally, any subscriber you get from promoting your channel will be counted towards your monetization. So I know I've did this sometime before for a channel, but probably I didn't record it because I, I wasn't having this in mind back then. But I know that as of today, as of making this video, YouTube policy accepts subscribers from promoting your channel. So any subscriber you get from promoting your channel is counted towards monetization. I always have issues with people that don't normally share, show their face when they are commenting on people's video. So I always encourage that when you want to, when you want to, you know, engage healthy with any YouTube videos, make sure that you put your face so that people will know that you are a real person. And especially if you're a content creator, because sometimes, you know, some people are malicious. They would like to throw you or try to make mockery of what you're doing on your channel. So if you ever find this kind of people on your channel, maybe each time you upload, they make mockery of your content. What you need to do, this is just an additional to this video for you to do to block anyone from disturbing you on your channel. Just click on the three dotted line on their comments and then you see this hide user from channel. So when you click that, the person will never see your channel again on YouTube. That user with that particular user, that channel that the person used to comment, you will not use that channel to see your channel again. So I thank you for your feedbacks and for your comments and other things that you find helpful on my channel. So let me know your thoughts in the comment area. Are you willing to use the paid promotion or the tool in your YouTube studio to promote your channel? So like I said on in that video, I emphasize that that tool, that promotions tool is not meant for, you know, a typical content creator. But if you have anything you want to sell on your channel, like maybe an online course or an event, or maybe a, a, an e, e product or whatever that you want to sell, you have that option to promote it with the promotion tools on your channel. But if you're just a typical content creator that is doing vlogging, cooking, you know, you're doing your normal content on YouTube, you don't have anything to sell to your to your audience, then that is not necessary. But I also added this clause that, like for example, like the person that the person that I talked about, the person got over four thousand watch time hours within seven days, and he only have only two hundred subscribers. So in this kind of situation, if the person can't wait, or instead of the person to jump from one channel to the other and doing sub for sub, it's better that he just spends a little token and promote his channel and get the 1,000 subscribers immediately. So that was what I said on that video. So if you want to see the full tutorial, how, how to promote your channel through your YouTube studio, you can check out the video. I think you will see the link somewhere here. You can check it or check the link in the description. So please give this video a thumbs up. And if you are new to this community, you can hit the subscribe button to be part of the community. Thank you guys for showing up each time I upload videos and, you, and your feedback has been very helpful and has been a moral booster to me. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one.